Hi fishy folks and happy Fry Fry Friday. I hope everyone had a great week and uh, has some good plans for the weekend. I know I have plans which I really can't talk about. Alright maybe I'll let you know. I'm supposed to go uh, interview and film a fish store owner Scott Maurer from Reef to Rift. So stand by for that video. Uh, a couple other things guys before I get into the video. Don't forget smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. Gently gently caress rub it the notification bell uh, so you get notified when I uh, add a video or I go live and uh, when we're done go ahead and check out michaelsfishroom.com promo code thank you 10 is back active again because I got so many people that said oh I missed it even though I told them when it was gonna expire they missed it I'm that kind of guy up again just for the weekend ends Sunday so guys if you want to buy some fish Promo code thank you 10 get $10 off your entire purchase. Today we're going to talk about mutt guppies. Why? Because I love the mutt guppy. I love the pure strains too. Like my Jarwi Lazulis might be my favorites right now. <coughs> but I love the mutts because I love the variety and the color just pops usually. So you might be saying to yourself, what's a mutt guppy? Well, a mutt guppy is... I. I, I call a muck guppy, and I started using the term muck guppy well over a year ago uh, in my fish room. I would be breeding pure strains, and I needed to do something with the culls. And at that point, I didn't have anything to feed them to. I didn't have Chewy, my uh, Super Red Dragon Flower Horn. If you haven't seen, I released a video on Wednesday. I'll put a link up here in the description for if you guys want to take, take a look if you haven't already. And based on the view numbers, most of you haven't. Um, so I didn't have anything to feed coals to. And I'm not talking about a coal with a bent back or something. I'm just talking about, you know, if you're talking about a red cobra guppy, uh, the tail maybe didn't have enough red in it. And uh, so I started putting them in one tank, trying to decide what I was gonna do with them. And after about uh, one breeding generation, so really six to eight weeks, I started to see fry with really nice colors. Now the females usually were playing just like they are, you know, with regular guppies or, or, you know, other guppies, but the males, just some incredible colors. And so I decided to just keep on breeding them. And then I put them on the website and they really didn't sell for a long time. And then all of a sudden I did a video and uh, I talked about how gorgeous the muck guppies were, how prolific breeders they were and how hardy they were. And boom, they started selling. And I truly believe, I don't know this for sure, I have no scientific proof other than my guppies are pretty hardy. I don't, my tanks aren't pristine. They're used to meh conditions. I mean, zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and zero nitrate, or very close to zero nitrate because of all the plants and the daily water changes from the auto water change system. Certainly helps, but there's mulm in every tank. There's mulm and dirt and debris and it stinks when I clean it because it's poop from whatever you know how it is anyway I digress back to mutt guppies so mutt guppies are basically just like it sounds like a dog that's a mutt you know from two different dog breed parents two different fish breed parents <coughs> and what's nice about my mutts is I'm constantly adding new genetics to the pool because I really have, well, up until I brought the um, ponds inside, I had two mutt tanks, two 20 gallon high tanks, uh, just for mutt breeding. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, maybe six different tanks that have what I would consider mutts, which I'm not gonna sell as a pure strain, I'm gonna sell as muck guppies. Currently, muck guppies are uh, five for $25 on the website, and then you can use promo code 10, uh, 10, uh, thank you 10 then you can use promo code thank you 10 and get $10 off plus shipping, which of course is $20. Um, it's September and it's actually almost October. And here in South Jersey, uh, the temperatures are in the 60s at night, 70s ish during the day, maybe 50s at night, 60s during the day. So we can still ship. I anticipate shipping all the way up until probably Thanksgiving. And then uh, it'll be if you order fish, I'll be playing the shipping game by ear. As soon as I get uh, nights that are over the over uh, 40, I'll ship again. I, I feel comfortable shipping my guppies if it's in the 40s or above at night uh, with a heat pack, of course. 
Um, and when it get, gets that cold, I definitely insulate the box. But so let's let's talk about muck guppies some more. So you want to see some muck guppies? Let's look at some muck guppies. All right, stand by. All right, fishy folks. Let's look at one of my muck guppy tanks. So first, you can see there's a uh, pure black Moscow, but you see how the belly is a little silver? I don't want that in my line, so I cold it. But I didn't feed it to Chewy, I just put it in this tank. And we'll see what genetics it adds to the pool. Here's a perfect example of a cull. <clears throat> uh, another cull. That was a Platinum Red Dragon Mosaic. And you can see it's a gorgeous fish, but it's not a Platinum Red Dragon Mosaic, and I don't want to sell it as such. So I threw it in here. And that that's a stunning fish, it's just not that label. Look at this one. That's, I don't even know, that's probably in here two, three generations. That thing is gorgeous, but it's not purebred. But it's still gorgeous, so if you're not looking to spend 30 or $40 for a pair or a trio of guppies, you get five of these for 25 bucks, and they're stunning. And in most cases, you can pick how many males and females. <clears throat> If you want blue, if you want more reds, if you want more purples, I'll try. I do have a customer who has already bought two packs of blues, and I actually have to send her the second pack. And uh, I, I love looking for the gorgeous blue guppies. So, um, yeah, if, if you want mutt guppies and you want a <clears throat> red tank or you want a blue tank or, you know, you're looking for purple, I'll see what I can do. I will definitely try to help you out. Um, and you can see a simple breeding setup as I always have lots of cover a sponge filter and at least one boy and one girl boom mutt babies um, I did add all the rest of my uh, bluegrass females to this tank because I wasn't getting any fry and I didn't have a boy left so I'll be looking to get that strain again but for now it's in here here's another uh, platinum red dragon you can see the ears, the ears, haha. <laughs> the uh, pectoral fins are gorgeous and big. <clears throat> and that'll help this, the mutt guppies look great. Here's another mutt guppy tank over here. This was the first mutt guppy tank. You can see all the fry in the back. Uh, you can see how well the moss grows in here. But uh, this one sort of just has plainer looking females. There's a black Moscow with the silver belly I don't like. There's a half black baby. Um, <clears throat> I pulled most of my mutt guppy sales out of this tank from the last sale I had. So we're just rebuilding the colony a little bit. All right, fishy folks, here's another mutt guppy tank. This is the uh, Clarion Tote, the gray rectangle that I had. I don't know, maybe 12 or 15 gallons outside. <clears throat> and it had this uh, red, white, and blue guppy, the gorgeous tail. And uh, a lot of the fry are from that. I believe that big female that just passed by the camera uh, also was from there. But also this has a lot of fry that uh, one of my subscribers who lives close to me emailed me and said, hey, I have a couple 35 gallon ponds I don't want anymore. Do you want the fish from them? And so, you know, I came and, and I, I picked up a bunch of fish in a bucket and then uh, we I didn't find any adults and so uh, she brought me some more fry uh, last week as well but still no adults which is fine with me um, I like raising the fry so this is a mix of a couple different mutts which should be interesting to see um, I didn't see the adults there at her house so I don't know what they're gonna look like so it's like Christmas opening presents except waiting you know a couple weeks till they show color so it's really not like Christmas but anyway you get the picture uh, typical mutt breeding tank or any guppy breeding tank in my fish room. Lots of places to hide. Java moss and uh, some rickia and a sponge filter. And it's on the auto water change system and it has an overflow. And that's just how I breed the mutts. That's how I breed all my guppies, as you know. Um, here's an example of like a juvenile that's starting to show color right there. And uh, that's going to be a fantastic looking guppy. Not a pure strain, but a mutt. Again, these guys are 5 for 25 on the website, $10 off using promo code THANKYOU10 up until this Sunday. And if you're interested, certainly hit up the website. Um, you know, if you buy today, there's a good chance I'll ship them on Saturday. You'll have them on Monday or Tuesday, usually Monday. I find Saturdays are a pretty good day to ship. I've been doing it now for a couple weeks, and uh, I kind of like it, so... 
All right, guys, that's it for the Mutt Guppy Extravaganza. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com for all your guppy and pleco needs. See ya. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Hope everyone's had a great week. Hope everyone's had a great week. That would have been English if I didn't flub it. Let's try again. If you haven't seen, I did a video yesterday or uh, uh, Wednesday I dropped it. I dropped it? I sound like I'm a record producer. I didn't drop it. I'm gonna stop the video, fix the camera. That's stupid, why am I telling you this? Um, I probably should add some more colorful genetics to this tank, which I'll probably do probably when we're done. That's dumb.